Hey Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here everyone for your next major love relationship tarot reading. We're going to be looking at who is coming in, what kind of relationship you're going to have, the good, the bad, the ugly. We'll have a look at all of it aqua. So um, this can be to the cross watchers as well who are connected to an aqua. If you are after a private reading with me, I am currently accepting those, so please email me for booking details. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to the channel to be a part of my lovely little YouTube fam. Also, if you wanted to become a member of the channel, that's something different. Um, you can do so by the join button on the homepage channel, uh, on the channel homepage, I should say. And basically, it's going to get you access to any extended readings. Um, sometimes I post videos just for members only. So you'll get sort of exclusive access and access not available to just anyone. So um, if you're wanting to do that, please join up for membership. Um, otherwise, let's look at this situation here. Aquarius, let's see your next major love relationship. Okay, strong Scorpio coming up straight away. Uh, for your aqua. Could be we're seeing Virgo here as well. Let's crown it. And overall energy for this person, they're coming up with the temperance. So strong Sag coming through actually. Um, okay, so great communicator coming in. Someone you might already be in touch with or someone who's about to like message you, um, email you, some sort of communication that's being made here. But strong fire energy, which tells me a very strong attraction to this person. Um, they've got quite a peaceful vibe. I reckon they're quite like a chilled, laid back kind of person. Um, they're not too stressed. I'm not getting like a stress head kind of vibe from them. I'm getting that they're quite chill. They're quite zen. So, you know, maybe they they do a lot of stuff outside with nature. They like to go surfing. They're big on meditation. Uh, they're big on the whole spiritual thing. They've sort of got their own little outlet. Um, and I'm getting that they're quite a fair person, but they're very chatty. And I feel like they're quite outgoing, outgoing, but chill. Like it almost like nothing really phases them. They're happy to go with the flow. So I like that that's coming up around them. They could work with communications. Okay. Because they've got that hermit. They're a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to their work or when it comes to their business or something that they have a lot for a lot of you, they could have their own business. So um, I do feel like they're a hard worker. They're very ambitious uh, is what I'm getting, but I feel like for some reason, could be through work or just maybe um, through their circle of friends, uh, I'm getting a vibe that this person is often the center of attention. So it could even be like they're a performer. Uh, okay, like they've got sort of their own gig or they've got their own channel or, you know, they're available to people and they've got a fan base is what I'm getting. Um, but they're honest and they're a straight shooter. They're always up for a last minute adventure. They're never going to say no. They like to try things at least once. I feel like this person is older. I'm getting an older vibe. Could be by a few years as well, not just by like a few days or a few weeks. I'm get I'm getting that it could even even be like um up to a decade. Okay, so there is a bit of an age age gap here that I'm seeing uh, for some of you. Um, okay, so this relationship, for some of you, you've had this relationship before with this person. So it is an ex with the death card. It's someone that there's been a lot of hurt and pain. So if there's something you've been, you've been waiting for someone to come back, you've been hoping to give things another go, this may just be your chance um, to make that happen. Okay, it could be your chance, a second chance at a relationship, a fighting chance. I feel like this person is going to have to fight for you, Aquarius. Um, so I feel like they've done you wrong. 
they've done you dirty, they've done something here that you haven't been too happy about. And I feel like this next relationship is telling me you could very much be with them. Not all of you, for some of you, it is a brand new person with the ace. Uh, we did have Sag, Virgo and Scorpio. So they may be under one of these signs. Two of ones, three of ones. Could this be a couple of people coming through at the same time? It could be. Okay, so I am I do want to say, as a bit of a precursor here, Aqua, that you will be dealing with this person's insecurities from a different relationship. So I'm seeing that they've been hurt and they've been hurt bad. There's been a betrayal, they've been cheated on, they've been ghosted. Something pretty nasty has happened in a previous relationship for them and they still carry that pain. They can't just walk away from it. They, they still carry it very much so. And it's going to be something that's quite fresh, I feel, for them that's going to come up into the relationship. So they're going to try to really perfect everything. And you're going to see that. They're going to try to make a lot of effort for you. They may be very insecure. Um, they may be doubting you. So there could be trust issues in this relationship. Because the five of ones, I feel like before, other people have been involved in their relationships and it's gotten them into trouble. You know, maybe they've always listened to their parents and their parents didn't want them dating certain people. Or maybe their friends didn't have the best motives and were like, you know, don't listen to them, don't do that. And, and they, they're coming in with this like prejudice maybe. But I do feel like in this relationship that will carry on. It's hard to say who's, who's friends or who's family, but I'm seeing a dysfunction here with the five of ones. It makes me feel like they could be quite like jealous of you. Um, so I feel like this, this next relationship may have quite a bit of trust or jealousy issues. And it may have quite a lot of people coming in from outside of the relationship trying to ruffle some feathers. So it could be friends, maybe exes, maybe just people don't approve of the relationship. That, yeah, I'm getting like people are going to get involved somehow. What I love is that there's long term potential with this person. Some of you may travel with them. You may even live abroad, move abroad. Uh, and I feel like this relationship could in some way show you the world. Could be like if they're obviously really wealthy and successful and they get to travel the world and you know, all, all these sorts of lovely things, then you're going to be tagging along, Aqua, and it doesn't sound too shabby to me. But I feel like with the Hermit, I do feel like they could be quite busy at times because the Hermit is loneliness, so someone's going to be feeling lonely. But like I said, if they've got this approach where they're trying to be zen and chill... I do feel like they're going to try to suppress some sort of loneliness or jealousy issues or anything that sort of doesn't sit well with them. They're going to try to, they're going to try to sort of deal with that in their own way. Um, there could be some secrets here with the death card. So I feel like this could be something to do with the past that I mentioned or like having secrets for each other. Um, I also feel like the two of you are sort of going to be obsessed with each other. There could be like a bit of an obsession here. But I'm wondering what this Ten of Swords and Five of Swords is. Aqua, you may end up hurting this person unintentionally. I sort of want to say that as a warning. And then the Ace of Swords is telling me that there may be a period in the relationship where you have to fight to get them back, uh, to get them to respect you again, to get them to fall for you again, to get them to have feelings for you again. There could be a, a betrayal of trust in this next relationship, but I see that it may be coming from you. I mean, it's, it could be mixed, it could be reversed, and the betrayal will come from them maybe? But that's, I feel, a lesson for you. I do feel on some level, having this relationship with them, you're going to uncover some past traumas or secrets about your family. Like, this person is either going to help you see things or they're going to discover this with you. They'll be there by your side when you come to this sort of news. So I feel like 
get ready for a lot of personal revelations in this relationship. A lot of like family secrets or things that were sort of hidden, hidden away, not really spoken about, ignored, avoided. All of that I feel is going to come back to the surface or is going to come to the surface. If not come back, then it's going to come to the surface. And Ten of Swords, sorry, back to that Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. Excuse me. Um, deception. Some of you, Two of Wands, you're going to be in two minds about whether you want to continue this relationship or not. Some of you may have communication from an ex and then you're going to consider going back to the ex over this person. Some of you actually see you leaving this relationship to be with an ex-partner. Now, vice versa, it could be reversed. They may leave the connection to have a relationship with their ex. You know, who's to say that can't happen? But, I mean, there's potential here to sort of grow together, which is really good, and to heal together. And I feel like they're going to have a nurturing effect on you. And it's going to help you level up in the world with the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, maybe in career, maybe in your looks, your persona, your goals. Yeah, you're sort of moving on up here. That's what I'm seeing. And I think that's going to work very nicely for you. For you and them. Um, okay, so we have long-term potential with the three of the three of ones i feel like this relationship could go for a very very long time even into your twilight years so this is big aqua this is obviously someone that could be around you for a long time for some of you if you choose to walk away from this relationship i have a feeling that you'll probably stay friends you may stay in touch and then probably reconcile later in life i know that seems very far fetched or a little bit far away to say but i just think that this person is destined to be in your life. And I feel like the angel, the death card, are telling me that you will reunite when you need them and you will be together once again. So I, I really feel like there's someone in it for the long haul here. And I feel like you may finally feel like, wow, this is the one I want to settle down with. This is the one I want to come home to and do life with and live out every day and experience everything that life and love have to offer me. So, I mean, that's that's really beautiful in itself, he aqua. You could be long distance for one reason or another here as well, and that's going to be a real testing phase in the relationship. But as long as you don't let other people get in the way of this, then there's a lot of lovely potential here. There's a lot of movement forward for the both of you. Um, So it's looking pretty good. So definitely this relationship is healing of old wounds and a lot more fun than you've had in a lot of relationships or than you've had in a long time. And you need that aqua. You need fun. You need spontaneity. Um, but just this peace they're going to bring, it's just really going to make you stop and smell the roses. Okay, you're, you're more busy, you're more on the move, you're more doing everything, but this person's going to teach you to sort of slow down and be more present in the moment. So that's like mindfulness in itself. So I think I'll, there's a lot that this relationship's going to teach you. I'm going to leave it there though, um, Aqua. So thank you for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. If anyone is after a private reading, please email me um, to arrange that. Otherwise, thank you for all your love, your support, your likes, shares, and subscribes. And hopefully we'll be in touch soon. So thank you everyone and bye for now.